There is a $145,000 bounty from Kim.com, Investigate Earth podcast, and a wealthy follower who ran for uh, upper office uh, that they've all donated this money. And the intention is that anyone who can find the hoaxer of these videos, if anyone thinks that they're not real, go find the hoaxer, bring us the hard drive full of their source work, and you can get $145,000. That's how serious, not just me, but the people who've been following this case are about proving that these videos are authentic. Uh, you know, if I, if you really force me, like say, hey, Ashton, who, who do you think fake these then, given your newest update? I would say that this almost has to be some type of uh, psyop uh, in terms of the government or a state uh, state actor putting them together for whatever reason. Just because so much of the information is like classified information, military assets, um, and, and then just the amount of effort it would take to put together as well in such a small time frame. Okay, we just watched that effect several times. This is not the same. This is completely different. Now, what they've done is they've tried to match up a single frame of this. And all you have to do to debunk it for everybody listening is just ask how many pixels match. And the reason why no one will answer is because the pixels don't match. So that's very important. If you're trying to say that this must this must effect must be the same, then the pixels must match 100%. Uh, the amount of painstaking effort it would take to change all the pixels, that's the reason why you use an effect, so that you don't have to painstakingly change all the pixels. This right here, this is not the same. This is not even close. Yeah. Dude, I... I uh, so he says... I so wait, on with this. Wait, hold on. So B. Baker says, Ashton is a complete jerk in tweets. He can't debate. He just blocks and goes from the argument from there. B, we've actually talked to him. We actually know the guy. He's not a complete jerk. What a time. Uh, hey, actually, oh, hey, what's, he what's going on? <laughs> and, he, and I actually like that he deletes because it's not that he's having an argument. It's that he's, well, I'll let the man speak for himself. Yeah, I mean, show me the tweets, man. You know how often I hear this kind of stuff where people are like, I was just uh, asking questions and like uh, nobody ever posts it. Like, let's be honest, guys, you aren't just asking questions. You're being douchebags. You are being condescending. You're in my post saying, just let it go. Just let it go. Why are you doing this? You know, like, of course, you're going to get blocked, man. Like, if you don't want to be part of it, you don't want to be involved, you know, then, you know, don't do any of that stuff. Uh, you know, it doesn't bother me at all that you you don't have some kind of right to be in my replies. You know, you can be like the, all these other people that block me, that talk smack about me so that I can't see their content or whatever. Right. Like, go for it. Yeah, it's by the way, how are you guys doing tonight? Doing good, man. <laughs> Probably, uh, probably, probably under slightly less stress than you. <laughs> yeah, it's been a it's been a day. I can only hang around for a few minutes. I'm supposed to jump on That's with uh, no Investigate worries, Earth, man. but I wanted to, uh, you know, just come say hi to you guys and maybe do a very quick update in terms of what's been going on because I think it's uh, yeah, it's been a lot of stuff happening. So yeah, yeah shoot, well, shoot we try we tried to sort of do a ham fisted way of smashing through like where we were where we thought yeah. we were in the sort of timeline of things, but things have moved so quickly since it's that insane. morning. Can't keep yeah. up with it. Yeah, yeah so this uh, you know, cloud debunk, I'm going to call it, came out, which is that somebody who is an anonymous Redditor had this six-day-old account claims that they found some clouds on some uh, website. I don't know if they're the Rain Man or what it took for them to somehow see these clouds and pick it out. Um, and then they, I guess, contacted Jonas, who's the person who uh, took the pictures back in 2012, I believe it was, and had him make a video doing like a debunk of the images and this essentially took everybody by storm people started retweeting it i think we were looking last night at it It has almost a million views um i talked to jonas and there was a little bit of stuff that was a little weird about the interactions with him like how he like knows the corridor crew he's a visual effects artist um he's got like all the documentation to show me that he was like there on that uh, that uh day etc on this airplane um, and that he went into the country and all that, but I, I don't know. I, I don't want to put the guy down because I, I get like an honest vibe from him, honestly, you know, just from my own impression. But this whole thing coming up just seems really, really unusual given the huge amounts of traction we've been getting, and given the fact that uh, you know we are we just this last week proved that there were, the clouds are moving, that the clouds are being distorted by the orbs, which rules out this idea that there could be a two D like background in this right mm -hmm. and when i asked him and talked to him about it he had a very weird way of referring to the case like he didn't know anything about the case supposedly but he's talking about it like it might be a hoax and like how it's damaging the family is doing that same fake compassion stuff that's out there mm -hmm. 
And that's when I started getting pretty suspicious in general of what was going on here. Um, but the thing that kind of threw me through a loop was uh, when I talked to him from with Kim.com, he was offered a $10,000 bounty just to sign a statement saying he wasn't lying about anything like that. Right. Mm -hmm. And I could tell right away that he like that kind of threw him off when he was asked that in the meeting uh, with us. And he mentioned something that gave me a clue, which was he said that, well, pirates used to torrent all or steal all these images um, years ago, or whatever, and that they have torrents of them and what have you. Maybe the hoaxer found it that way as opposed to the website. So we were like, well, give us the records of everybody who downloaded this in a 72 day period. Right. It can't be that many people. It's got this is like no. a small website. Right. Especially CG textures.com. So that's when I realized, well, if this is somehow hoaxed, then those old torrents out there are either not going to have the images or they are going to have the images, but they're going to be modified, right? Like maybe somebody used AI to modify the images, to superimpose these clouds over them uh, so that this elaborate ruse could uh, you know, gain traction. And so last night, we've had all our people looking into it. No one can find these images on the Wayback Machine uh, predating the videos. And we looked up at least, I believe, two different torrents that we found out there for CG textures, and neither of them have the pictures in them. So I don't know exactly what's going on here, uh, but it's pretty damn weird. I've had a lot of people in my DMs saying this doesn't seem right. People analyzing the pictures. One person did a very detailed analysis who is whose background is looking at stuff like this and say that the angle of the pictures does not match from pictures that were taken like within a minute at the same time, um, that the the sun and the shade of the sun on Mount Fuji in the background is not the same and consistent with the morning sun as well from when the pick time of the picture shows. So this is enough doubt in my mind that I, I don't know exactly what's going on here, but it's scary because if someone were to go to this level of effort to try to discredit the case, to just try to credit me, discredit me, then it means that they're extremely afraid that there is something really, really big to hide in general. Um, so the only way I can go forward then is say that we have to just proceed because of the weight of the evidence, because of what we've been able to prove. We've been able to prove that the U.S. government knows what's going on with this plane. They had spy satellites in the area staring at it. You can't have a debris field or not have a debris field for a 777 crash into the ocean. Um, and this just means that, you know, we have to keep moving forward with this case until we get an answer. And what I would say now is that because people are so cons like confident that they think they've found these assets, there is no excuse now to not find this supposed hoaxer at all. Like they mm -hmm. should be able to yeah. narrow it down. And there's no excuse for the government, U.S. government to come out and say that, you know, that th these are fake. The U.S. government should come out and say, nope, that's not our MQ-1C Gray Eagle. And that's not our cyber system staring down at the plane at uh, 1840 UTC at the Nicobar Islands, which is what's indicated by the coordinates. There's no reason for them not to be able to say that now. So if the government doesn't come out now and say that, because this has gotten so much attention on social media, then in my mind, it's suspicious. So we'll just keep pushing forward until we get that answer from the government. Yeah, that's what I find weird about it is the fact that, you know, it's the, these photographs have come out and that's fine. It's a debunk. Everything gets debunked like every other debunk that's that's been thrown at this. Um, but we're, we're all supposed to just go, oh, there's photographs there. Let's all go home. Like, yeah. it, it, it's it's like that we're, the, we're not allowed any scrutiny over the evidence yeah. that's been put forward and i i find that really like hard to take yeah and that's what i was thinking about the last day too is like you know this just it doesn't add up the idea that nobody wants to look at the actual evidence and they want to you know scrutinize the, they don't even want to scrutinize these pictures either right like they, they don't want to spend half the level of scrutiny they want on it um you know, and I think that's what's giving me the resolve. All of the people out there, too, who are trying to, uh, you know, claim victory and all this stuff, too. Like, it, these are the people that are keeping the case alive. I just want to let them know that, you know, if people weren't out there, uh, you know, claiming how, how, like, how they've been right. People are, like, asking me for apologies. Or I'm like, what were you right about? Right? Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't understand what apology I deserve. I owe anybody else. Like, you if, need to apologize <laughs> to Mick West. <laughs> yeah, 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 you do. Like we'll and so it's like if brick. if we were right, I, I'm not going to be, be you know demanding apologies from people like you know that's it's a little weird. So it's just the whole attitude of people in general throws me off. And then the fact that how many people came out supporting in terms of like not giving up, especially when I was on with Jimmy Corsetti, and I you know he just keeps saying in the chat like everybody's is saying this is real, like everyone's saying this is real, and I'm like, man, yeah, this this didn't really fool a lot of people, right? Like if this is if they this is some elaborate 
um, kind of fake picture situation where I would imagine the intelligence community would have to be involved in it. If mm -hmm. it is, then it's not fooling a lot of people. And that's when I realized, you know what, if these people aren't going to give up, then I have no choice as well. I have to keep going as well. And I had a moment of doubt where I just thought, man, if this is true and they're, they're this concerned about making sure this goes away, like, this is this is real serious. Like, you know, I'm, I'm actually like at risk and, you know, it could be easier just to walk away at this point. But I just said it, it didn't feel right. And I've got to follow what my gut tells me in terms of being honest with myself, being honest with the case. And that's why we're moving forward. Did, did um, you did you fly back in 2012 by any chance? Yeah. Yeah. You ever, taken a, a pi you ever taken a picture out the window? Yeah, so that was another thing that I thought was really unusual because I've never been, I've been on, I've probably flown more, more than most human beings on the planet and I've never seen a window that wasn't scratched, dirty as heck, or they have these double-sided yeah. panes of plastic, right? Like taking pictures out the window is not like just taking this clear, perfect photo. So I thought that was a little bit unusual as well, but I don't know. The guy had a receipts for his, his flight. He had uh, he had everything categorized back from well, 2012. He had well, receipts from that long ago for his flight? Like he was able to pull up emails and stuff. And I was like, oh, I'm very organized. And showing me his passport with a, the stamps on it. Like everything ready to go. Everything. What was Wait, go, what how was how long set? is a what, what passport? I don't, I don't know. I was going to say, how long is his passport valid for? Depending on the country. Yeah, it can't be the same passport. And some yeah, people argue, well, they take your old passport back. I'm not sure if that's true or not, though. I feel like I have one that's just a whole. No, you're they took mine. To. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed yeah, yeah, yeah. to. Yeah. Unlike yeah. Other hmm. yeah. All yeah. I was going to say there, Ashton, is like, if he's, if somebody's, because is that when uh, allegedly they were, they were taken in 2012? Those pictures. Yeah, yeah, 2012, yeah. I believe yeah. I had the exact date, January 25th, 2012, 8.50 a.m. I guess it must be local time there. So, um, I mean, human memory is not great as it is, but clouds are qu quite, you know, generic. Uh, leaded a leaded a, a chat BT chat chat whatever it's called uh, thing earlier, and uh, I don't we're know. Not, we're not, we're not billions of photos. Yeah, and <laughs> there's like over a, there's billions of pictures of clouds apparently on the internet. And he's how, talking hundreds of thousands on, as well. How on earth? Even if even if even if you'd taken those pictures yourself and somebody had happened to take them out, how would you even know? How would you go, oh, actually, I remember that. That no, was didn't. my cloud out of the he, window. Yeah, and he was told. He was told that because you, could, you couldn't. In fact, this idea that this person found the cloud picture is makes like no sense whatsoever. Like there's no way someone can identify a random cloud like that looking at pictures. That's just not even humanly possible. My so, message is yeah. to the debunkers with that. I want the debunkers to ask themselves that question. How? How would you remember a fucking cloud? And so, so yeah. supposedly some random anonymous person finds this picture. Some, and Even though the clouds have to be manipulated in order to even like show, like you know, flipped around and stuff like that. It's like somehow this person finds this and then emails Jonas and says, here's the exact picture you need to go find. These are the ones. And he goes and makes a video about it. Like it just doesn't it doesn't sit right with me. There's this doesn't make any sense in terms of how that went down, right? And then that we find out this person's admitting that they got slighted because I dunked on their corridor crew buddies, and it's like, oh well, I'm gonna go, you know, defend their honor. And it's like, okay, well now it's getting even more sketchy. So, um, yeah, it just seems beyond what one person could do. Here, this is a great question. But welcome to the show. He's a friendly guy. Yeah. He's been on our show all the time. He's like, question: How much money have you made from this footage? For me, oh yes. Well, I mean, I've made I don't know from the attention of social media. I think that a total amount of money that I've made from the uh, Twitter is probably like less than five hundred dollars from all the uh, you know almost hundreds of millions of impressions at this point over almost ten million a week. I think, and then from YouTube, I actually haven't collected a single cent yet. I actually haven't even verified my account yet. But people have donated quite a lot. I don't know how much it would add up to. It might add up to like fifteen hundred dollars in general. So two um, grand is not enough to nuke your life to go through this. No, I mean, I have a real job that pays more than that per week. But <laughs> yeah, that's, um, that's my point. Like, that's a lot of yeah. effort. Uh, no, and I, I, I just think I'm not important. doing this for financial yeah. gain. And again, I haven't even collected yeah. a cent from YouTube yet because you have to do a bunch of verification and all this. And yeah, um, the people that have I've been on their podcast with have made more mm -hmm. money than I have by magnitudes. So um just throwing that out there this hey, is man, that's what we're trying to do. All right. That's what we're trying to do. Don't get up there. I'm trying to help you guys out. 
I appreciate yeah. it. Uh, now, uh, do we know if the photos were recovered from Jonas's computer or are they only available on the website? Did so he Jonas have the raw had a, on his he had a fi- he had pictures on his computer, but like for me, you need to have a third party confirmation that's not one of these people that like he knows the website owner as well. So. You know, in this sense, it's like if you were in a legal case, it's like, you, how do you not prove that this guy just added these pictures to his computer, right? In the past, you know, just like downloaded them that day or what have you. You really can't. Like, you need to have a third party corroboration. And that's when he told me about the thing about Torrent. I was like, oh, well, we should be able to find the Torrent then that dates back somewhere else that's out there on one of these uh, pirate locations and we should be able to find the pictures. And that's why. Yeah. After having looked at two of them, we still haven't found it. I'm getting like really, really suspicious at this point. And that's why I made my post today after having people who are doing detailed forensic analysis on the photos as well. And then people are basically saying that, okay, you could uh, strip the picture, the fo- the videos using AI, pull out the clouds you want, impose them over other pictures, and then re-upload the pictures. And turns out these pictures actually were all updated on December 4th as well. Mm-hmm. Why are 11-year-old pictures being updated in their database four days ago? Like that's just also really odd, but the reality is it would take a lot of resources to pull off this if this was something that was faked um, mm-hmm. in terms of these pictures. And yeah, we just have to keep that in mind. Yeah, so this this guy used to come on the show or uh, be in things. Can I blame Jonas for not talking about not wanting to sign the thing or get involved anymore? Dude, yeah, I he's, don't, I don't, he's gotten a lot of, like like Ashton's already said, you've talked to him, you said he's a nice guy, he seems legitimate. Yeah. Uh, and he has gotten crazy hate online. I don't blame him at all. Like, as much as we ourselves choose to be in the conspiracy realm and deal with unwell people sometimes and a bit stockish, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, we chose to be there. This guy didn't, uh, or, or at least we believe he didn't. No, right? I mean, to me, it seems yeah. like he chose to be in it. So if you go out and you make a video, if you go out and you make a video saying, I'm going to debunk this after you get a random email from somebody on the internet, not just make a video, but like within a couple hours, decide that you're going to make a video of it. Right then you're involving yourself. That's the reality of the situation. If, if he doesn't I want to was, be involved, the very first thing you yeah. should do is delete that video because that tells you, I, hey, I, I screwed up. I don't want to be in this. Somebody else go debunk yeah. these pictures. I'm just going to give you the pictures. Like He didn't have to do any of that stuff. All he had to do is post yeah. those pictures online. And when I actually asked him about that, like, why are you making a video? I mean, you need to be cautious. He's like, he has like, oh, are you threatening me? Like, dude, what? Why? That's, what is this weird, weird people threaten? Like, that's a really weird response. Like, why are you making a debunk video over something that you have no background on whatsoever? Yeah. So There's the no reality of no this skin in the game either. Yeah, exactly. If you have no skin in the game, like if that's me and somebody emails me like that, I'm just sending them the pictures. I'm gonna be like, I don't want to be involved in this. Here are the pictures that I took. Enjoy. I'm not making a video going, here we go. I can match all the clouds together. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, what? That's not your place at all, man. The, so the, yeah. Let's say the conspiracy theorist in me wonder it finds it interesting right i I, the conspiracy theorist in me always finds things interesting one of the things i found interesting is that the perfect person somebody who's friends with the corridor crew somebody who has an established relationship with this website the perfect person got an anonymous alert that he was in possession of this Mm -hmm. and then was able to do something about it i find that interesting I find that interesting. It was. It, it seems like it went to the right guy. I mean, maybe that's so. Maybe that's the industry. I don't know. The anonymous email is weird. The anonymous email having that account talking about his fanboyness of the corridor crew is bizarre. The fact that it went like all those things just stand out as strange. And if this mm-hmm. was someone like, again, I'm on the conspiracy side, right? <laughs> if this was some other player, right? It, Another player who can fake the internet that well to throw off other people who like I've been following the Punjabi Batman. He's a bright guy. Yeah. You know, so you're you're telling this guy he's coming up against a wall, like, man, this is you know what I mean? Like I, I don't know what to do now. Um, so you're fi- you're truly fooling very or not fooling, but backing these people into a corner with this coordinated information that paints the picture that they want. Yeah, no, I have a job, makes, unfortunately, because yeah. I have another thing I have to go to. But I, and you yeah. guys, I, I've, you're free to continue to talk about it. You guys can yeah, ping man. me if you have any other questions, and I'd be happy to jump on in you know next week or whenever you guys do the other, the next one. What I would say though yeah, is man. that that Reddit account out there that found these should come mm-hmm. forward. They should reveal their identity and how they found them if they want to add credits to these. If they really think it's debunked, they should put their skin in the game. I've had my name out there the whole time. Yeah. So this idea that people are afraid of weirdos or whatever, like I've been getting literally attacked by everyone. So. I would say if you're not willing to put yourself in that same position, 
then I don't think that your debunk really has a lot of credit to it. So mm -hmm. the person that found that, if you want to really put some weight behind it, don't make Jonas be this person that's doing it. You put yourself out there. And Jonas, if he's listening out there, you should delete your video because if you're really honest about not wanting to be involved in this, that's the easiest way to not be involved. Let somebody else do the debunking. Otherwise, yeah. it just comes off as dishonest. That's my final thoughts. Hey, Ashton, thanks for coming on, man. And mm -hmm. do me a favor. Be careful. And when you're at yeah. sleep, make <laughs> sure all your devices are offline and your phone's in like a Faraday cage. <laughs> I appreciate the guidance, guys. Uh, I love you guys and have a good night, okay? See you, See you everybody. Malaysian 370, contact with Jimmy 120, decimal 9. Good night. Breaking news tonight, a Malaysia Airlines flight with 239 people on board, including four Americans, has gone missing.